think the only word that really sums up stigma is discrimination. Um, when I think about stigma, I think about specifically how we treat people with physical health issues and how we treat people with mental health issues and how um, we don't treat people the same. And that, in my opinion, is about stigma. That people with physical health issues are oftentimes treated a little bit more positively when they are ill and people with mental health issues are treated a little, little bit more um, negatively and not as not as fairly so stigma to means stigma to me means discrimination and how we how we address stigma here in our workplace and how we are working to combat stigma is um, having conversations about it and and creating space to talk about mental health and the prevalence of mental health I mean a lot of people don't know that one in four of us either will experience or do experience a mental health issue in our lifetime. And so that's me, that's you, that's everyone here, that's your colleague, your partner, your neighbor, your boss, the people you support and you serve. So if we were able to talk more about mental health and, and suicide, it would give people the opportunity to have increased space to share their story, and as a result, stigma would decrease. So, sitting in my basement, I had a family member come down the stairs and tell me they uh, were in such bad shape that they were thinking about hurting themselves. So, I knew a few things to ask them. You know, did they have a plan? You know, sort of gauging where are they at? And so went through a process of, you know, intervention and working with this person about, you know, how to, how to get through this and how to move into a space of being able to manage it. And um, it's been a process. It's been a huge educational thing for myself and the rest of my family and um, how to talk about it and creating space for this person to be and to be safely and, and learning how to for me to cope with this because it's something that is there every day. Uh, well, I'm a new mom, so I um, am stressed mostly just by the fact that I'm getting very little rest and I feel pressure to do it all. And I just have to remind myself that I'm only one person and I'm doing the best that I can. My coworkers are, are really great at supporting me and each other, and so I often feel like I'm not as well equipped as my cowork other coworkers to support them, each other. And so I often, you know, step back and sort of assume that somebody else is gonna do a better job than I am. Um, so I have to remind myself, it's actually a stretch and a goal that I want to take the time out of the day to support people emotionally because I've seen uh, culture and emotional and, and human dynamics paralyze and destroy a, a team faster than anything, you know, way more deeply and, and long-lasting. Long so I, it's a personal goal for me not to, to focus so much on, you know, the data can wait a, a little bit longer. You know, we have to be here for each other as humans, you know, and, and as a team and be a team. It's part of being a team. My favorite support, I think first and foremost, is my wife who is very supportive and um, whether I'm having doing good or not doing good, she's very helpful and understanding. The, the second area is really using counselors, you know, using the benefits of the county's EAP program. And there's some times in life when you just need a little help. And so being able to have that available to get those, as I think about it, tools in my toolbox to deal with whatever issue happens to be before me. And then it keeps me going, and then I have those tools, so if I encounter that again, it's like, oh, I know how I can deal with this. I know how I can keep myself centered as I navigate through this particular issue.